we choose from a variety of airplanes. Fly to a great airfield restaurant and experience some delicious food. Not your everyday lunch run. On this episode of Food Fly, we'll be showcasing our Promote a Pilot program. We find someone in the local area interested in aviation and we take care of their discovery flight. Our intro flight is just a short flight. The sole purpose is to get the prospective student in the air and exposed to the flight environment and to try to make them as calm and comfortable as possible. I'm excited that, and then I think I'll be really nervous. Generally it's just a mild fun ride. Do. Um, we took off and then I flew and like turned and stuff and then we like we landed but then we like kept going and then we came back and landed. Cool. It was better than I expected like I was really nervous but it was fun. <laughs> First, don't panic. <laughs> That's probably what a lot of people do. We're gonna die. <laughs> if it stops in the air, you're in trouble. I think when a pilot is in the clouds, I'm sure they have, they use probably, um, they probably have like a monitor or like a, trying to, like of a GPS system telling and see if there's another plane in the area so they don't do any collision. Uh, they just base it off their, like, what, 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 what's it called? the dials and everything that's in front of them, pretty much. Like, the, use the, all their tools that they have in the cockpit to pretty much fly the plane. With all their controls and make sure they said they're supposed to be at like 45 degrees longitude and latitude, that they're in the right area, and that other person's at their correct distance they're supposed to be at. They don't need to see where they're at. They have all the right, all the mathematical come out right. They should be good.
probably when they're from taller stuff. <laughs> Reaching a high altitude and too high of an incline, so like, uh, the engines can't take it anymore. It gets you even any higher, so the engines stall out. They're like they're spinning too fast. They can't take take all of it, so they stall, and you just start falling down. There's no fuel getting to the engine. Sure, there is. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I believe so. Yes, there is. It's, it's based on the FAA, and they have uh, air traffic controllers to see where they're at, make sure they're at the right altitude to make sure they don't cross interference with any other aircraft that's in the air. They all have to have flight plans with the FAA so they can go off the ground. What if they did? Then skin the wall. We're going to the second annual Mandan Chili Feed Fly-In. We brought our own. It's about to pre-flight the plane, take off. Sky condition clear. Temperature zero five Celsius. Three five two eight Lima Majesty Tower seven three seven Bravo Whiskey. Make your right turn out to go to the southeast. I've got traffic coming in uh, from the southwest. Roger, we'll make a right turn seven three seven Bravo Whiskey. Traffic is a Cessna uh, coming up on about a three mile left base uh, for runway two six. And report when you have that traffic in sight. Roger that. We're looking. I'm one of the local pilots that fly out of Mandan here. Mm, hang out of here a lot? Uh, yes. Probably too much than I need to. But. If someone got sick from it, I'm not sure I could help them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you notice there is a little waiver you have to sign before you take it. Um, just flew out of here in that, that little yellow airplane. Um, it's from Minot, and he said it was nice and clear up there when oh, he yeah. left. That was beautiful. Yeah. So join us next time on Food Flight. We'll go grab a whirl whip What's it called? <laughs> a whirl whip in Stanley, North Dakota. Right? You ever had one of those? Well, that's cool. I would definitely watch it. Yes. Heck yeah. Be like on the Travel Channel or something? Whatever. Definitely.